Noel, it must be very difficult um, for you, especially on Christmas, you and your family. Um, we have video that you shot from this morning. Tell us how your day has started. Yeah, um, so we we were all in bed. Uh, we have a four-year-old and a one-year-old, and it was about 5.50 in the morning. And we heard loud banging at the door um, and over and over and over again. So we went sleepy in our pajamas to the door and there was a policeman and a policewoman telling us to evacuate immediately. We went sleepy in our pajamas to the door and there was a policeman and a policewoman telling us to evacuate immediately. Um, and we were confused and we had all our presents set out for our kids to go see and we were like asking if there was any way we could stay and they said no, that there was a public threat. So we woke up our kids and put on shoes and jackets and, and left and got in our car and, and drove away and as we were driving away we... I was turning around to look. Um, we were trying to make a plan for where we were going to go during COVID. We're trying not to.
go to anyone's house. Sure. So what we could do, and um, and and I was looking at our stretch of buildings downtown, and I and I saw it explode. I saw a huge explosion, um, a big orange, you know, fireball up in the air, about twice as tall as our building. Uh, and I just said to my husband, "Oh my gosh, our, I think our building just exploded." And what was going through your mind seeing that? Immediately, I was so grateful we left. You know, my husband had even said, oh, they kind of, you know, they kind of do these things. Someone might be depressed in the building and making a threat or something, you know. And I said, well, I don't, you know, I don't want a chance at it. I just think we should go. And it was so insane. I mean, McDonald's wasn't even open for breakfast. So we just, it, it was really like, what's our plan? I don't know. And, and as we saw, I saw it explode. I thought, I'm so glad we left. So glad we have our kids. And above anything else, I am so glad for those officers who walked into a building that they knew was a dangerous spot to be and, you know, woke us up and got us out. I'm so grateful. Yeah, you have a child and a four-year-old. I can only imagine, uh, you know, what you must be going through right now. Have you heard any word as to if your apartment is okay or, or your, your housing situation? Um, well, well, we we turned back around when we saw the explosion and, and went and parked as close as safe and just to try to see our building and the back side of the opposite side of the building, that back is where our windows are and, and our windows were blown out right at the Christmas tree. Mm. <laughs> we could see our, our tree was in there um, and, it, and it looked like a lot of water was pouring out of the building. Um, so it, it seems like the sprinklers all went off and when, and when I went around to the front side of the street and I was seeing the cell phone video, uh, just, everything was on fire, several cars were burning, so much smoke. The candy shop on the corner that we get candy from was completely blown out. And then as I looked over, our front entrance is right next to the Hooters sign. Just a huge chunk of the top of our front side of our building collapsed off as I was looking at it. So it looks like the whole front side of our building has been, been blown off. And we're so grateful that, you know, that people got out and, and that we were on the back side of the building, you know. Can you give me a better idea of the types of people who live in this area? Is it a lot of young families like yours? Actually, no. We're, we're kind of an outlier. Uh, most of our, it's a really cool, funky stretch of old warehouses, four-story, five-story warehouses, um, brick warehouses that have been turned into uh, a lot of Airbnbs, real. Um, so there are only a few permanent residents. We're, we're the only ones kids in the area that I know of. 